Hey guys, we are going to find the area of this triangle. What's funny about this one is we've been given the base and the hypotenuse, but we have not been given the height, which we need to be able to find the area of our triangle. So the area of a triangle is half times base times height. If you're wondering why that's the formula, it's kind of cool. I'll link a video for you in the corner where I talk about that. But we need our height. So what do we need to do? How can we figure out our height? Well, guess what? We can use our dear friend, the Pythagorean theorem, right? This is a right triangle, so I can use that. So my Pythagorean theorem tells me that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? The sides are the a and b, and my hypotenuse, the one across from the right angle, is c. So I can go ahead and fill these in to figure out what a is. So I'm going to have a squared, because that's what I don't know, plus b squared, so 15 squared, equals c squared, so 17 squared. Okay, now if I keep solving that down, I get a squared plus 15 squared gives me 225 equals 17 squared gives me 289. Okay, not too bad so far. Next thing I'm going to do is I want A alone, right? That's the whole point of doing this. So I'm going to subtract 225 from both sides. And I end up with A squared equals 64. Then I need to get rid of that squared. So we take the square root of both sides and I end up with A equals eight. Oh my gosh. I love it when they are not ugly decimals. Okay. So we figured out that a or our height of our triangle over here is eight. So now we have all the info we need to be able to figure out the area of this triangle. So the area equals half times the base. So 15 times the height, which is eight. Okay. When I multiply those all together, one half times 15 times eight, I end up with 60. Okay. Whenever we're doing area, we need to take special care looking at our units. So we are in feet, but not just feet because we're talking area. We are in feet squared. Okay. Or in the real world, a lot of times you'll hear it said square feet, right? Same thing. The reason it is in feet squared is because when we are figuring out area, in this case, we are in feet, we are figuring out how many little squares that are one foot by one foot fit inside of this triangle. So 60 of those would fit in there. This is like when you're talking about how big your house is, you usually say it in square feet. Isn't that cool? Okay. I hope this was helpful. I will link a bunch more area videos if you need them. Thanks.